Today we have yet another gas mask video, but I think that this one is pretty unique and interesting, and a little different than some of the masks we've looked at in the past, so let's get right into it. So this is an Italian mask that was used by the Spanish during the Spanish Civil War. You see, in the later half of the 1930s, Spain was involved in a very brutal civil war, and the nationalist side, led by Franco, was given military aid by all sorts of countries, but especially Germany and Italy, and one of the things Italy gave them was these gas masks. Now, taking an up-close look at the mask, you will find some markings on the outside. You can see M31, which is the model of mask. Now, there was also a M33 mask that came around a couple years later. The only difference between the two masks was the filter itself. So the body of the mask, the uh, inhale, exhale valve, none of that changed, just the filter. So they were used interchangeably. And a lot of the times in Italian literature, you'll see this referenced as the M31-33 gas mask. And you'll see that on another part of this kit that we'll get to a little later on. Now underneath that is the Roman numeral 2. That's the size of this mask. I believe it was size 1 through 3. There is not a whole lot of information on these available online. But as far as I can tell, they were available in size 1 through 3. Now underneath that you'll see a logo. That's the logo for the Italian manufacturer IAC. There was one other company, Pirelli, that also made these masks. And their logo was a star but on those masks, the star will be above the designation of the mask and the text will be shifted downwards a little bit. On the right side of the mask, you will find a production or serial number. Now, if we look at the front of this mask, you can see it has glass lenses. You'll see a little bit of kind of separation around the outside edge. And that's because these were made from three separate pieces laminated together two pieces of glass and a piece of transparent cellulose to help prevent them from shattering if they got hit by something. Now down on the bottom here we have our inhale and exhale valve. Screw in your filter right there. These are 40 millimeter threads. If we take a look at the back of the mask, here's your harness. Plenty of adjustment on this thing. It actually has more adjustment than a lot of other gas masks that are made much later than it and especially from the uh, same period. It's a five-point harness, five points connecting to the body of the mask. On the back side of this, we have kind of a rougher textured piece of canvas. It does have a bit of mothing, and this would contact the back of your head to keep the mask from sliding around. Now, on the inside of the mask, you'll notice these little springy clips, and these would hold the anti-fogging lenses to the back side of the regular lenses. Those just snap right in there and would hold them securely in place. Now, down on the bottom, you can see the inhale-exhale valve. Very simple. There's no Tissot tubes in this mask. It's a pretty simply designed and manufactured mask, but very good for the period of time that it was made in. So how do we know that this mask was actually used by the Spanish, since it is, after all, manufactured by the Italians? Well, we know that because this isn't what this looked like when it left the factories in Italy. You see, a couple decades after the end of the Spanish Civil War, the Spanish still had tons of these in their arsenals, and they thought, well, instead of just throwing them away or surplusing them, why don't we refurbish them and make them a bit more modern? And making these more modern mainly involved upgrading them to use a 40 millimeter filter. So I'll put up a picture of what the original mask looked like, but you can see this was a very old style. It used this tube and a coffee can style filter. Just wasn't very good, especially at in you know during the 1960s. So they upgraded these masks and basically chopped all of that off and added this 40 millimeter adapter here, as well as painted all of the metal fittings, this kind of weird greenish color. And you'll see there's some kind of paint that has gotten onto the body of the mask because they didn't paint these until they had already installed them. So you'll see, and around the lenses, there are some parts, like right there, you can see where green paint has gotten onto it because they didn't bother taking those parts of the mask off before they refurbished them. So that's how we know that this mask was originally acquired during the Spanish Civil War, kept in an arsenal, and then refurbished in the 1960s. Here is our filter, and these were added to the mask when they were refurbished in the 60s. You can see a 20th November 1961 date on the side. These were made under license by... Dagsa in Segovia, and they were licensed from Draeger. You can see some instructions in Spanish on the side, a cap on the top to keep it sealed when you're not using it. There's your inside. And then underneath, this one is actually completely sealed up. 
This covers the bottom. This has a bunch of little holes in it like some of the early German filters did. And then to use it, you just take this ring, pull it up, and just pull that entire kind of cardboard piece right off the bottom. And here is what the mask looks like with the filter installed. If you collect German items, you will also recognize that this is basically a direct copy of the German version of these anti-fogging lenses, down to the text on the front and the instructions on the back. So here is the canister that was issued with this mask, and I do want to say that there is a little bit of confusion surrounding these, so if you have any more information about this particular canister, or canisters that were issued with these Spanish-acquired masks in general, please let me know because I do have several questions about that. But anyway, at some point in their life, these masks were paired with these canisters. When the mask originally left the factories in Italy, it would have been in a cloth bag like most other masks in the period. But you will see these packaged in actual original German canisters and then canisters like this whose origin is a little bit more uncertain. This isn't a German manufactured canister. And I can tell you that because of the style of latch. It's different. The way the anti-fogging lens container is manufactured, you can see it's just kind of sloppy. It doesn't look that good. And just the fit and finish of the can in general is not what you'd expect to see from a German can. You can see the paint is chipping all over the mask. You always have paint flecks all over your hands once you're done handling one of these because there was no primer put on these cans and that paint just doesn't seem to hold up very well. There are no markings on the can, at least none that I can find. There is a chance that they are under this very thick paint in some spots, but I have not yet been able to find any. You can see the attachment hooks for your carrying strap to put this mask around your, over your shoulder. And like I said, here's the anti-fogging lens container. Those lenses would just slip right in there and you'd close this. This one's kind of wonky. It doesn't seem to stay shut. Down in the bottom of the can, pretty basic. Just a single piece of sheet steel rolled together. And then your latch. So to close this, lid together, flip your loop up, pops right down. And that's pretty much all there is to this. Like I said, I have seen these with actual German canisters. And then this type of canister, which I'm unsure of its origin. And I don't know if these were actually issued with canisters during the Spanish Civil War. I haven't been able to find any information on that. Or if, you know, in the 60s when these were refurbished, there obviously would have been tons and tons of surplus German containers. So maybe they just got some of those. And then whatever they weren't able to acquire, they had uh, new versions made of. Maybe this was contracted uh, or licensed from Draeger just like the filter was. I'm not sure. And if you have information about that, please get back to me. It would be greatly appreciated. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, I will say that there's going to be another video involving these masks coming out relatively soon, and that will be different than anything I've ever done on my channel before, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more videos on Militaria. Thank you.